A Volusia County rideshare app called VoRide is set to expand next month. The program offering $2 flat rate rides launched in Deland just last December. West News Haley Crumble Home is in Volusia County tonight where several cities are set to see service start in their areas. We caught up with Jack Windle and Susan Wilcox on their walk back from getting groceries in Deltona. Yeah, we're just coming from Publix and 7-Eleven. You know, we only live a half a mile away, but in this heat, it's still intense. They do have a car. But I have to repair it right now. So they've been relying on a few things to get around. Mostly rideshare and the bus. Yeah, Votran. But one option tends to cost them a lot of time, the other a lot of money. The bus can get me where I need to go, um, but I still typically have to leave an hour to an hour and a half before to make sure that I have time if I need connections. And if she uses ride share. And it's it's easily, I'm, I only work five miles away, it's almost $20 per ride one way, um, which almost makes no point in going to work at that point, you know. But she'll have another option starting April 8th. Volusia County's VoRide. Well, VoRide, it is a curb to curb ride share initiative from Volusia County. The ride share service differs from more traditional ones in that it's door to door, but not necessarily directly. Although it could be depending on the ridership demand at that time, but you could have other passengers with you on their way to their destination as well. And that's one way that we're able to keep the cost so low. The cost is $2 per person per ride in a service zone area. For kids, those 65 or older or with disabilities, it's only a dollar. The program launched in Deland in December and come April 8th, it will expand to DeBerry, Deltona and Orange City. After approximately a thousand different trip reviews, we received it has an average of 4.8 out of five star rating. So that is something that you know, one reason why we decided to expand this service is more and more people are using it and the feedback we have received from the public has been tremendous. Wilcox had been waiting for the service to come to Deltona. I've been looking forward to seeing it expand. She says she'll probably be using it next month. As long as the vehicle is not repaired yet, we will be. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yep. And that was West 2's Haley Crumble Home reporting. For more details on that rideshare app, just go to our website at wesh.com.